Hey everybody, welcome back to Chill Tech. So in this video, we are going to be going over how to install texture packs to your Android device running the Dolphin emulator. And as you can see, this just takes the gameplay way up, makes it so much cooler looking. And you can enhance things like shadows, graphics, clothing. It's a lot of really cool stuff. I'm going to go over how to install and get all of this up and running. Make sure that you subscribe, strap in, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to get started, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is not to go to the Play Store. <laughs> the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is go down inside of the description on below and click the link to take you to this first website here, which is to download Dolphin MMJR. And this is the version here that I'm actually using inside of this video. You can read through all of these notes if you want, but if you just scroll down here, you're gonna see right here, Dolphin MMJ, it is right here. This is the one that you wanna download, that APK. And so get that one downloaded. Also, I will have this inside of the Chill Tech Zero Google Drive account. So you can also click on the Google Drive and you can go ahead and download this APK, get it installed um, to your device. Now, the second website that you're going to want to go to is right here. And this is linked also down inside of the description on below. And this is the wonderful person that we have to thank for even making this video possible, but also for just upgrading WindWorker the way that they have. Thank you so much. Very cool, very awesome stuff. Anyways, if you click on this link here, it's going to take you right to this page and you can look around at all of the different things that she's done. But they have different ones here. And I think these will be fun to look at in some future videos. But for this example that we're doing, it's going to be on Zelda Wind Waker. This is the one that you're going to want to download this um, high res Wind Waker texture pack. So go ahead and download this. And these are the actual websites that I actually used in order to make this video possible i will have the link to this texture pack also inside of the chill tech zero google drive but if you want to come straight to the source this is where i actually got it from so once you actually get those downloaded here especially this texture pack and you already get the dolphin emulator installed like i showed you right here on this page then we're going to be ready to continue so go ahead and let those download you can press pause on the video if you want to and then unpause once you're ready for the next part Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and continue here. And the next thing that we're going to want to do is open up the My Files application here. So let's go ahead and open up over here. And let's go ahead and wherever you decided to actually stick this zip folder, that's where we're going to want to go ahead and download it. I went ahead and downloaded it, but I erased all of the updates from the Dolphin emulator so that we could be doing this together. And just to show you, I'm going to go ahead and start this here. I'm going to start extracting this. I'm using the My Files application that is uh, comes on the Samsung Galaxy devices, but whatever Android device that you're using should work just fine. While that's running, I'm going to go ahead and head back over to, I can close out of that, head back over here to the Dolphin emulator. And you know that you're on the right one because it's going to be purple here. It's going to have the MMJR. And one of the reasons why we're using this instead of the one from the Play Store is because I think back during Android 11, they changed some rules around the applications and certain folders being able to be accessed. Either way, when I try to access the folder that I needed to go to in order to update the texture pack, it wasn't allowing me to view it. So that led me to finding the MMJR version and it works beautifully and it even has more features. So in every way, it's a better, more updated version of the Dolphin emulator. So just to show you before we get started with our shenanigans, <laughs> everything is working perfectly fine here. This is normal. I've only played the game enough to get to grandma where she gives me this outfit. And if you've beaten this game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That's a little really like less than 10 minutes worth of having a game open. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and exit back out of this. So now you know exactly where we are. So let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and open up. Let's see if our stuff is ready for us. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it's ready yet. Make sure I haven't went past it. And yep, I totally went past it. So this is the folder here that you should have extracted. And once you get it open here, you're going to see these different things, of course. So let's go ahead. And the first thing that, that we're going to want to do is highlight this GZL uh, folder. 
and we're going to hit move. And then let's go back to our internal storage and you should see a folder after you've installed the MMJR for Dolphin right here. Go ahead and bring it here, open up the load folder and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let's see. Okay, let's see, let me hit cancel. Let me back out once and let me go ahead and make sure so that we can do all this stuff together here. Load, textures. Okay, now it's not here now. Well, let me go back then. I was about to drop it there, but just now I looked for Dolphin MMJ and it's not there. Load, textures, yep, not there. Okay, that was strange. <laughs> let me go back to the folder now and grab it then because this is the one that I was wanting to get. Okay, the folder disappeared, so maybe I was a little early anyway. So now I'm going to copy and paste the GZL. I'm going to move, uh, actually move it. Internal storage. And let's go down to the Dolphin MMJR, the load folder, textures. And let's go ahead and move it here. And I'm going to... Oh, that was fast. <laughs> okay, so once we have this GZL folder, this is important. And we're going to be coming here whenever we update stuff. And in this video, we're going to be working with the characters and effects for this particular tutorial here. But it's going to be the same method whenever you move forward doing this stuff here. So let's go back to our previous folder. And let's go back to our folder here. And let's open up the README so that we can see the directions here for what we're going to be doing. And you can read this at your own time. But what it's basically telling is we just did the first step together for the main pack. And this is going to make the main Zelda game look better automatically. And that was to move it into the correct folder, which is what we just did. These directions aren't going to be exact. So I think this video is still pretty helpful to keep watching because it's certain things like under the advanced tab and under the general tab. Not everything looks the same as this. But now that we have the Dolphin emulator open right here on the right hand side, we're going to go ahead and go to the next step. So we've already copied the GZL folder over into the textures folder. Now we are going to want to hit these three dots on the top right here. And I'm on a Z Fold 3, which is why the display looks this way. But just follow the directions the best you can. It's going to be the same here. So go ahead and open up the menu button with those three dots and then press settings. And then let's go ahead and go into the general. Let's see here. So what we're looking for is the back end is set to either direct uh, 3D OpenGL. Now, I do know that I have, let's see, that's the audio back end. That one's fine. I have mine set to open and it works just fine. And I'm going to go back one and I'm going to go to graphic settings. And so for the video back end, I actually have that set to OpenGL. So that's kind of what I meant about it's set under the general, but it's not general here. So anyways. Video back in is OpenGL, which is fine. And so far for the load custom textures, um, I'll go through and let you see what stuff that I have um, actually selected. But I don't believe I had to do anything else afterwards. Everything else seemed to work just fine. Here are the things that I actually have checked real fast for you to see. But I don't really have anything else, um, especially text, uh, especially checked. <laughs> so, all right, so let's go ahead and go back now. We should be good to go here for the emulator. And from here, we're going to actually do just as these directions tell us to do. And that's just going to be copying and pasting things in a certain location. So what I'm going to actually do here is, um, let's see here. Actually, I think this is this would be fine just like this. So we already saw what Wind Waker looked like just a second ago. So let's go ahead and let's go back. Let's see, were we in the right folder? Yeah, we are. So yeah, we want to be in internal storage. Let's go ahead and pick one now. Let's do optional textures. And let's go ahead and pick one. Let's change up Link's look here. So we got a couple of different ones here. This one looked pretty good. So we saw the regular, how it's supposed to look. So you know it's supposed to be green here. Um... I'm going to go to, let's see, Shadow Link. <laughs> it looks funny seeing it with that one there. Um, here, I was looking for this one. This is my favorite, favorite tunic. So once you're inside of this one here, I'm actually going to do the Zora tunic, hit characters, and then just hold down your finger to copy this link folder. Let's go ahead and back out. You can just hit the home button if you want to there. Go back to internal storage, and then let's go into Dolphin MMJR. And then go down to the load, textures, 
GZL, which we just brought over here, characters, and you see where it says link, press copy here, and yes, do this for all similar items and press replace. All right, so I'm gonna back out once. Now let's go ahead and crack the game open and see how it looks. Oh, some really cool stuff. I also have my resolution set to two, but you totally don't have to. It just makes the game look better. Depending on what your device processor is and what you know Android device that you're actually using, it's gonna determine if uh, your device can actually handle that. But playing on one is just fine. I just want it to look a little bit better here for this video. All right, there we go. She works! So freaking cool. <laughs> this is awesome. So yeah, all right. So this one here looks pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and back out of this here. Link, I don't know what you're doing. You, you can't be bored that fast. All right, so <laughs> let's go ahead and go back. And this is really cool stuff. As you can tell, I actually just finally figured out how to do this. I'm not a pro. I'm using the Galaxy right now, coming over from iPhone, and there's so much cool stuff you can do here on Android. It's just been a lot of fun to um, just figure out how to do all of these different things. Okay, so let's go ahead and come back here. and let's go over to, where's my folder? Here we go. Let's come back here. Let's pick a different one now. I'm going to do another optional texture. Um, let's see here. I don't have any materials like the sword and the shield just yet to really mess around with. Um, but let's check out some other stuff here. Let's see. Fierce Deity. That was the one that I was using earlier. Love this outfit. It looks very cool. We saw that one. So let's actually, let's check out Finn the Human. And <laughs> this is what, this is supposed to look like, uh, Link. Those eyes are. Wow. All right. Remember, go to your folder, which is going to have the texture pack that you want to use. Hold your finger down to highlight it. Press copy, and then let's go ahead and either go home or just press that back button if you want to. And let's go ahead and go back to the Dolphin MMJR, and then let's go to the Load, Textures, GZL, and we're still sticking to the characters, and we are doing Link. So we're going to replace all of these. Don't worry, the default Link is inside of the Texture Pack also here. So I like to back out one time myself just because it feels right. <laughs> and now we're over here. And whenever you're doing a uh, multi-screen like this, whichever one you see the blue tab, you'll know which screen that you're actually on. All right. So I'm back over here on the emulator here. Going to press start. Let's go to my file here. See what she looks like. And boom, <laughs> Link, you, uh, I gotta be honest, this is a little weird to see you like this. <laughs> Very cool stuff. I like it. All right, so let's back out here. Uh, one of the things that I also liked about the uh, texture pack here is you can also change uh, some of the environment effects. I'm not sure if I back up is going to bring me here or not, but make sure you keep an eye on how the shadow effects look on Link's face right now. So we're going to go ahead and change another effect. So let me back out here. <laughs> that would be <laughs> very interesting uh, playing a game like that. All right, so let's go ahead and go to... Let's mess with effects now. We haven't done effects. So I'm going to go back to internal storage. And I'm going to come back over here to my folder here. And let's go um, Let's go to optional textures. And let's actually do an effects this time. There was one that I saw that looked pretty cool. Those are characters and they got a bunch of stuff. Um, but there was an effect that I saw as a shadow effect. Here we go. So sharp is the default. Brush metal. Yeah, this one looked really cool. So there's the preview. Let's go ahead and I'm going to go in one time to the effects. And I'm going to go here to the shadows. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to come back here. I'm going to come home. It's just easier for me to get to this Dolphin MMJ folder. Load, textures, GZL, effects. And there's right there at the top is our one shadows. I'm going to copy here. Do this for similar item for similar items to replace the existing ones and hit replace. Back out once. And then let's go ahead and crack the game open again. Let's see what it looks like. 
Oh, this is some pretty cool stuff. <laughs> Man, that brush metal, it just sounds interesting. I can't imagine how long it actually took for her to put all of this stuff together, but I am so grateful. Zelda is my all-time favorite game. All right, so... Mm. <laughs> yeah, you can see it. Very cool. Let's see, Link. Very cool. It's amazing how I was playing. Just for those who played this game as a kid, you know, playing this game so long ago, and now one being able to play it on the phone is amazing. But being able to do all of these changes and reach into the game and do this kind of stuff is just amazing. Booger boy. Even the booger boy has the. <laughs> Even the book, the booger has the brush metal effect on it. That's wow. That's just you've never seen a cooler looking booger. <laughs> that one. <laughs> Very cool. He's just gonna follow me because he's pretty creepy. That's what kids are. Let's go ahead and back out. I think you guys now have the gist. We'll do one more together. By now, you all should be a pro at um, going through the textures and changing them up here. Um, you can see I'm pretty excited about learning how to do this stuff myself. I can't wait to get into the other ones. I want to find more texture packs now. Let's go back into optional textures. Let's see. There were other effects that they have up here. Environmental ones. You could change the foam and all this stuff here. You can have PlayStation buttons if you want to. I don't want to look at it that badly. So let's see. My favorite ones has definitely been the characters here. Let's see. I already tried that one here. Let's try. Oh, I used to play as this on Smash Brothers. That one looks very cool. Um, let's see here. Toph, I showed you guys in the intro video here. They also have Katara here. That one looks pretty cool. <laughs> if you wanted to beat the game as Katara. Let's see. There's the Goron tunic. That one looks pretty cool too. Let's see, Manga Shadow Link. Okay, let's try this one. Um, so hold it down here. Hold your finger down on the folder that you want to copy. And then let's go ahead and head back to the internal storage. Navigate to that Dolphin MMJ. Let's go ahead and go to Load, Textures, GZL, Characters. And here's our link folder there. I'm going to check this box and hit Replace. I want to back out once because it feels nice. And let's go ahead and see what we're going to get. <clears throat> it's kind of cool because not only are you actually changing what the character looks like, but changing the shading too. I should have I should have changed the other shading too, but it's okay. Plenty of time to mess around and have fun with this later. But this is pretty fun so far. Let's see. Very cool. So let's actually go ahead and close out. Let's see what we're looking like here. Very cool. This actually looks really cool. Especially with that brush metal for the shading. This is very cool. I like it. Alright, so I hope the, you guys learned something and enjoyed the video. This is awesome stuff. I love learning how to do all of this stuff here on the Android, here on this Galaxy. It's amazing all of the things that you can actually do. There's Booger Boy. Booger Boy, I don't have time for your shenanigans. So, yeah, check out this game. Find the ROM. If you need help finding the ROM, um, well, I can't really tell you anything exactly. I'm not allowed to. But just go do a Google search, and um, you should be able to find it pretty easy. All right, they have a lot of different websites out there. Okay, you know what? Even the pig has got the brush metal. <laughs> I'm not even messing with you today, pig. All right. Anyways, if you haven't already, if you like this video, make sure that you hit the like button and make sure that you subscribe for more videos um, where I'm just figuring out how to do a lot of cool stuff, but also teaching how to do some of the cool stuff that I figure out. If you know something that I don't, make sure you drop that knowledge inside of the comment section on below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you all in the next video. Catch you next time.